what I want to show you now is uh, why the magazine has got to be removed when you disassemble and reassemble Ruger Mark III. Uh, there's a feature that's called a, um, well, I don't know exact the name of it, but when you remove the magazine, um, it will not let you to, uh, uh, to shoot if the round's still in the chamber. Let's say with the magazine, it shoots. Without a magazine, you pull the trigger and it doesn't shoot. Now, people start tampering with the safety of this gun. They start removing these pieces out that involved in this particular action of the pistol. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, leave the gun the way it was designed. All the safety features are there for a reason. Now people say that it stays away on the magazine removal, that the magazine gets stuck in there. No, it doesn't. See, I, I didn't remove that feature and my magazine slides right out. Now, why do we really need to remove the magazine out of here is because um, the, the uh, bolt stop is going up when we remove uh, to insert the bolt back in and uh, the magazine stays on the way of the removal of the barrel so I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that so we're going to open it, by the way that's a nice example now the, the trigger is cocked and it, the, the spring came out like this you won't be able to open it. All you gotta do in this case is don't panic, just push it in, squeeze the trigger and pull it out and release the bolt. There we go. To take the bolt out, tilt the gun like this, pull it out. And now we need to remove the barrel. We won't be able to because the magazine is on the way of the barrel. It's right inside here. So now we need to remove the magazine and remove the barrel. Now, with during the reassembly, uh, we need the magazine in order to put uh, the hammer all the way forward to imitate as we uh, shot uh, the pistol. Um, so basically, you're going to put the barrel back, make them with, make them with the grip, now it doesn't really matter at which point you put the magazine in. I can put it in right now even before I put the slide in. The only way I, I put the slide in is because my I will be able to put it if I uh, pull down the slide release button and I will be able to put it in. So the magazine is inserted, it doesn't stay on my way at all. Now I need to pull the trigger, put the hammer all the way in and because that black a lever that's hanging off the hammer has got to be all the way up in order to catch with the main spring. Now we can lock it and tilt the gun upward with the barrel to have that little black lever drop down and catch on this handle. Once it's like spring loaded feel to it, you can lock it and it's all ready to go. That's the reason why we need to tamper with the magazine. It's not that hard as you see and uh, there's no hassle. You don't need to disassemble the gun and take the parts out to tamper with the safety. The gun is good as it is. Well, thanks for watching. I hope it helps you a lot.